We're going to get across to Blues Chief Advisor, Greg Alexander. Brandy, thanks for joining us. Uh, a few new faces over there in Perth. How has the first day been for the squad? Uh, yeah, everyone uh, convened last night at, uh, at the Pullman near the airport there and we jumped on a plane early this morning, Braith, and uh, team photos, boys have had a, a meeting and some lunch and uh, we've got another team meeting a bit later on, but it's, it's all been good, yes. Randy, eight changes to the squad. Can you just take us through the thinking and the reasoning behind why so many changes? Uh, Kenty, I, I guess, you know, if you talk about the, the, the 17 that are taking the field, uh, Jack White was unavailable because of COVID, which was very disappointing. Um, Matt Burton, uh, we decided to bring Matt Burton into the side. Uh, it's a like-for-like -like replacement for Jack. Um, we know Matt's an outstanding centre. He's been in pretty good form with the Dogs, playing 5'8", but we, we know he can play centre. He's a, he's a great hole runner. And he's, and he's a replacement for any injury. He's cover for any of the halves. We didn't want to cu uh, carry a halfback or a, a cover for the halves on the bench. So Matt Burton grabbed one centre spot and we decided to go with Stephen Crichton at right centre ahead of Katoni Staggs. Uh, the other changes, uh, Tarek Sims yeah, misses out. Uh, Cameron Murray started off the bench last in, in, the, in game one. Uh, he was probably a little underdone after three weeks off and um, you know coming back, back for South. So uh, Cameron goes into the starting side alongside Liam Martin, who had a, a very good game. Uh, and we've decided to go with two hookers. Uh, Appy uh, will start, Damian Cook will come off the bench. Uh, no, no knock on Cookie, we just thought that we needed, um, probably we needed to be as good out of dummy half for the 80 minutes as we can be. Uh, and Appy's a very good defender, he's a hitter in defender, so uh, we decided to go that way, start Appy and bring Damien off the bench. Uh, Jake Trebojevic comes back in. Jakey, uh, missed game one. I, look, he only played 20 minutes of last year's series, Jake, uh, in game one up there in Townsville. And I think Daniel Saifidi, who was probably our best front rower last year, we decided to replace him with someone else that could hit the ball and make some metres, and that was Regan Campbell-Gillard. We decided to go uh, with Jake, who might add some starch defensively for us, um, and we've made a couple of changes on the bench. Angus Crichton comes back into the side. Angus has done the job in the middle or on the edge for us in the past. And Sifa Talakai, uh, because of his ability to play in the centres, back row, and, and even in the middle at a, at a pinch if we needed it. So. Uh, you know, they're the changes to the side that will run on. A lot of people talk about cohesion, about building from game one into game two into game three, and with so many changes for this game, there's been talk that there's been some panic selections given the loss in game one. How do you respond to that? Yeah, there's no panic, Kenty. Um, no, absolutely not. We're, we're just trying to pick a team that will win. Mm. Um, you know, the cohesion you talk about, well, I, I think Matt Burton's played enough football with the players around him. Um, as has Appy Corosau, you know, flicking uh, you know, Cameron Murray from the bench to the start. I don't think there's any panic in that. And we've played two hookers before and, uh, and you know, Damien has started, but this time we're just uh, deciding to go with Appy. And there's certainly no panic in a, in a decision to pick Jake Trebojevic. So th there's no panic. That, that's, that's the label's been thrown around a couple of times over the last five years. Um, absolutely no panic. Brandy, you're starting 17 this time. You changed about an hour before the kickoff. Are you set on that 17? Will it be exactly uh, exactly as it's been named, Buzz? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yes. Yep. Yeah. No late changes yes. to starting. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so. But that, that, that's that's the coach's prerogative to to make a change. But I think that's you know he's named the side. Um, I'm sure that, that's how it will take the field. Yeah, just out of your top 17, I was a little surprised with your extra five players. 18, and, you know, if you have a COVID outbreak or anything could happen, the other side of the country. Particularly Victor Radley. Hasn't played for a long time, Brandy. Why is he there ahead of other similar type players with that lack of fitness? Uh, yeah. Yeah, look, uh, look. Freddie's wanted to get Victor into the side for the last four years. An injury has crueled Victor, uh, and you know, from the time Victor was, you know, back in 2019, might have been the best lock in the in the game, and all of a sudden Victor's missed Origin series because of injury, and 
Um, you know, there's been a couple of 13s that have jumped over the top of him. I was AEO and, you know, Cameron Murray, but, uh, you know, Freddie's always wanted to have Victor as part of the squad and the opportunity arose. He spoke with Trent Robinson and Victor uh, prior to naming the team and um, they, you know, Victor said he'd be, he'd be right to go, um, as did Trent Robinson. So Freddie, <coughs> you know, had no hesitation in putting Victor in the side. Look, Victor's a, he's a great character. Um, he's a he's a winner. Um, he's competitive, and look, if if we did have a problem and Victor had to uh, had to throw a jersey on and play, well, uh, I've got no doubt he'd handle it. Brandy Sifatalakai, how do you plan to use him? Well, he's cover for any outside back injury, um, Jim, and uh, you know he could so he can play in the centres or he can play back row, so or in the middle. Uh, it, it will depend on how the game's going. But because he's so versatile, he, do, he does offer a number of solutions uh, for, for whatever we need him for. But you know, if one of the back rowers had to had to have a rest, we could put Angus Crichton there, or we, or we could play Sifra and play Angus in the middle. So uh, his versatility is certainly helpful. Queensland did a tremendous job. Brandy in game one of controlling the rock. How do you combat that in this game? Yeah, we just have to be better, Kenty. We have to, you know, pay more focus to it and uh, and realise that it, it's it's not a club game. It's Origin. Um, penalties like to be at a minimum, and uh, you have to push the boundary. Um, you have yeah. to, yeah. You, you don't want to play too nice. And I, th I thought we were just too nice about things. We, it seemed like we didn't want to offend anyone. We we jumped off nice and clean and. Um, you know, we, we, we did lose the rock, ruck and, you know, we learned a lesson from that. So we'll, I'm sure we'll be better in that area. Don't want to be negative all the time, Brandy, but geez, Josh had a... Okay. <laughs> That's a great start. Well, 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 I don't. <laughs> What's coming no, next? No, I don't, Brandy. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> it, it, that's, is that an oxymoron? <laughs> <laughs> Josh had a car. Yep. Uh, look, I'm not alone. I feel for him. I loved seeing him in the room after the game and how excited he got for Matt Burton. But geez, he must be close. Yeah, he is. Yeah, very, very close. Oh, of course yeah. he is. Well, you picked of course very, he is. You picked a very. Do you think to, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 Buzz. It's, it's not an easy decision to leave someone like Josh Adokar. Yeah, out, I understand that. That's why I asked. And you. there's a lot of debate about it. Yeah, and and, and there's a lot of debate. But um, you know, we've decided to stick with Daniel Tupo, who. Did nothing wrong. In fact, I thought he was he was outstanding for New South Wales, and he was on the weekend for the Roosters. And and I do feel Fair for enough. Fox too, mm. because I love the Fox. The Fox is just one of those infectious characters that you can't help but you know fall in love with. So mm. it, it is difficult for the Fox, and it's not an easy decision for us to leave him out. But we have. Well, Brandy, sure. you've picked a, a very strong side. Uh, good luck for the rest of the week. Enjoy Sunday, and go and get that win, mate. <laughs> good on you, Bray. Thanks, on mate. On you, Brandy. Thanks, uh, boys.